Hey, what's up guys? This is Henry Neo and you're welcome to yet another video on my channel. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Xiaomi Mi 8 running the Pixel Experience ROM, which is the latest build that the Pixel Experience team has put out for the Mi 8. The Pixel Experience ROM is sort of like a direct port from Google's Pixel 3 to non-Google devices. And this one here is running on the Xiaomi Mi 8. It's an awesome ROM. And if you would like to know about the feature it comes with and everything about this ROM, stay till the end of this video. If you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell icon so you're notified when I put up new videos. Let's get started. So there's something I'd like to put out there before we start up with this video and it's the fact that there is something called the anti-rollback feature on Android 9.0. It was introduced a while back and the Xiaomi Mi 8 here is one of those phones that support the anti-rollback feature. So basically what this means is that if you have a ROM, a newer ROM such as this one I have installed here, you cannot clean this off or wipe this off and go back to a lesser ROM. What would happen if you do that is that your phone will get bricked and you will not be able to use the phone again. The Xiaomi Mi 8 comes with that feature. So you have to be careful not to install an earlier ROM over a much newer ROM. All right, guys, so we're just gonna go through this phone, like just experience the way it works, how the software works. Starting from the lock screen here, you can see the date and the time, the weather, and then your notification from apps that you have in the phone. Um, this is what it looks like on the lock screen when you turn it on. And one thing you have to know is that this ROM comes with um, infrared face recognition. Yes, so the face recognition on this ROM works and it works flawlessly. So um, let, let's just try that out so that you see what I'm talking about. I'm going to turn this on and turn it to my face here and boom, you can see that. I'm going to do it one more time so you can see what I'm talking about again. Um, one, two, three, turn this on and boom. And I'm doing this from behind the camera so you can see how fast it recognizes my face. And that's because it uses an infrared um, camera. So let's just go through the UI. Basic Google Pixel launcher here. Um, you have it very clean here. Your icons um, on the home page here and your dates up there. You also have a second page if you like that. And to the left here, you have your Google um, feed up here um so the date you can click on to go into your calendar um, and you can swipe down from the top to view your notification shade the notification shade here looks very clean and um if you know how google does things um they band notification into groups and it looks really really awesome and it works very well you have your search bar down there and your peel so that's your gesture peel that you have down there and you can use that to swipe through all your open apps and go through them just like that i do not like the gesture appeal from google so i decided to install an app called fluid navigation gestures which is what you have here and it works perfectly so where i use this i use this in conjunction with google's pills but i only use it to go back from apps so if i'm in an app right now as you can see right here i can simply just swipe from the edge of the screen any part of the edge of the screen to go back to show you um, a better view of how it looks and um, just so you can see what the stuff looks like and the farther you swipe you go back to your previous app the farther you swipe go back to your previous app so it really is very cool and it helps me out in managing the google pill here with its terrible back button over there so that's it for the launcher you can swipe up to view all your apps you have in here let's go to the settings app and see what the settings um, for the pixel experience launcher is typical google settings you have everything banded into categories and we're going to tap the android version here and you can see that we're running on android pi so one of the things people would like to know is does the cutout work can you hide the notch yes you can hide the notch but it's not something that i like um it looks a bit tacky in my opinion so we can go into system here advanced go to developer option and look for cutout somewhere around here 
display cutout so you can choose to hide the display um, cutout and the good thing about this is that it brings down all your notification and puts it on the top bar there so you can find that it's not the smoothest of cutouts so I'd rather leave um, the notch the way it is here um, a couple of other things you have is your digital well-being to show you how much time you spend in several apps so as you can see here I spend a lot of time on Instagram YouTube followed by Chrome so the cameras in here work flawlessly they work really well um, it's a direct port from what you have from the Google Pixel 3 and part of the reason why it works so well is that this phone shares the same sensor for the cameras and also uses the same exact chip as what you have on the Google Pixel 3 and the Pixel 3 XL so you have every feature working on the Google Pixel working here the portrait mode the camera your HDR plus your night sight works perfectly here and every other feature as you have on Google Pixel 3 um, one other downside I noticed is that the battery life for this ROM is just a bit shorter than my original MIUI 10 ROM that came with the phone. So on the MIUI 10, I could do up to five and a half to six hours of screen on time, but on this, I do about four and a half to five hours of screen on time. So that's it, it's a very clean launcher. Animations are beautiful, they're really smooth running through app you can see the way the apps load absolutely beautiful load times uh, folder here launch your app on um, Instagram everything loads very smoothly I mean I'm really impressed with what they've done here and if you want to swipe through your recent apps you can just do this and go swipe through all of them or you could just swipe up a halfway and scroll through all your recent apps you also have the opportunity to do split screen so you can tap on that and split screen and then select a second app that you would like to use in split screen mode and there you have it so guys this is it this is the Pixel experience ROM for the Xiaomi Mi 8. Absolutely beautiful. Everything works in here. I haven't had any issues. If you have any, please let me know in the um, comment section of this video. Um, if you have any questions about the Pixel experience ROM I have in here, please leave them in the comment section below. If you would like to know how to install this on your phone, it's simple. I've left the links to where you can download this from and the forum you can follow on installation um, instructions. Thanks for watching this video. Um, I'll see you in my next one and peace guys.